Okay, we're going to have a look at uh, work breakdown structures in Microsoft Project 2013. But this time we're going to start with an online tool called uh, wbstool.com. It's a system that enables you to do work breakdown structure charts in the same format that you see as uh, yellow sticky notes or in a hierarchy. I used to tell my students to use Microsoft organization charts for their work breakdown structures. Uh, so wbstool.com is the website and uh, I've logged in and I'm going to enter this tool and I'm going to pull up a work breakdown structure I created some time ago and then show you what we can do with it. I'm going to open a file that I created And now we can see a pictorial representation. In this example, the project is creating a, uh, a new hangar, and uh, it's broken down into the work packages, the hangar building, the hangar facilities, the staff that we need, and scrolling this way, the paths, the driveways, the barriers, and the equipment. I've got a numbering system applied to this. Uh, we can see I've got uh, the second level is the hangar facilities. I've got third levels. I've got fourth levels. And um, we can do various things, copying, pasting, saving, printing. A particular interest, we can save this as an image or we can export it to Microsoft Project. And that's what I'm interested in doing now. We can export it into Microsoft Word. Um, so let's uh, click export to MS project. This is going to save the file as an XML file. Download to download it. So let's do that. I'm going to save it on my desktop. I'm going to save it as whatever it's going to come as. Let's have a look. Click save. That should be done. I'm now going to Microsoft Project. I'm opening a blank project. Let's click on the first task. Now let's go file, open. It's on my computer. It's on my desktop. I'm going to have to tell it to an XML format file. That looks like the one I'm looking for. Let's open that. Let's open it as a new project. And there the structure is in Microsoft Project. I can see that I've got the different levels. I've got the different indentations to indicate it. Now, I think the benefits of a work breakdown structure is uh, the graphical format. Let's go back to the online tool for that. If you only want to discuss what you are doing in the project, then use the work breakdown structure. As soon as you show the rest of the team this in Microsoft Projects, they're going to start to discuss how long things are taking or who's doing them or the sequence of activities. If the only thing you want to discuss is what is happening in the project, what tasks are included or not included, or the sequence of the tasks, then use a graphical format of the work breakdown structure. Later, you can import that into Microsoft Project to add the things that Microsoft Project does best, the dependencies and the durations. So there's an overview of work breakdown structures, but created from the wbstool.com website.